Salute and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will tell you guys why I chose dentistry. So let's go. I want to state that this is my personal opinion. I know that there are loads of people who may think different about that topic or see it from a different perspective. If that's the case, I would love to have a fair and productive discussion down in the comment section below. The most important thing I want to mention right at the beginning, this is not a dentistry versus medicine clash or something, yeah? I will just talk about the reasons, yeah, that make this profession so good in my point of view. Yes, sometimes I will do some comparisons to medicine, but only because those two fields overlap in some points. Dentistry is almost as ancient as human history or civilization dating back to more than 7,000 years before Christ. It is defined as the treatment of diseases or other conditions that are affecting, for example, teeth or gums or other structures in the oral cavity. It is also referred to the reparation and extraction of teeth that are then replaced by, let's say, artificial ones. So a dentist tries to establish a good oral health on his patient to prevent certain diseases. So prevention is a big part of dentistry, like I said before, and we should keep it like that. Because who of us likes to sit in a dental chair for a long time? Even me, it's just killing me. But what would make us very happy and wouldn't kill you is liking this video if you like watching it so far and also subscribe to our channel if you want to see further content. In general, if carry or for example malpositioning of a tooth or the inflammation of a root occur, just to give some examples, further treatments are needed to not only relieve the patient from his pain, but to also prevent further problems. This can be done by placing some fillings or preparing some teeth to place crowns or bridges or by doing a root canal treatment. I mean, there are loads of different treatments for different kind of problems. Also implants, orthodontic treatments. Um, yeah, I think we all know what I'm talking about. For this, we have multiple different specialities. I will not go further into detail about the specialities. If you are interested in that, I made a video recently about the different specialties in dentistry. You can just check it out. Also, Forza made a very interesting video, which is about the different specialities in medicine and which ones he would like to do. But why actually do I think it's worth it making a video about why dentistry is so special? And the reason is, yeah, just because it's so unique. I personally think that there is no other profession that is even similar to the dentist. Of course, I am including the dental assistant because yeah we are working as a team and i think i don't have to mention that yeah like i said before dentistry is unique and i want to make you understand what i mean by that so let's have a look at the different treatments we can divide them into let's say direct and indirect treatments by direct treatments i mean other treatments that a dentist can just do by himself like a filling or a root canal treatment. So there are also indirect treatments where the dentist, of course, needs a bit of help by his technician. Let's see the dentist like a company. A company that produces a certain product like, let's say, for example, manufacturing cars. Before someone can actually start manufacturing a car, he needs to have certain parts which are mainly produced by other factories. Like, for example, windows. The car manufacturer will let this factory know what kind of windows he wants to have, when it's about size, about the color, about the stability of the glass. And then this factory will produce them and send them over. It's exactly like that in dentistry. If you have to repair a row of teeth, which for example had been extracted, you can do so by replacing them with a bridge. And this one has to be produced by a dental technician. So you will prepare the two teeth which are next to the edentulous area. Then you make an impression and send it over to the dental technician. This technician can be employed in your dental office, for example having a small laboratory, or they are an independent laboratory and working with multiple dentists. You as a dentist will exchange all the necessary information with this technician, like, again, the size, the morphology that maybe suits the patient or like the teeth had been before. The color is also very important for the aesthetic outcome. 
Of course, it's also important to talk about which material should be used. This is specific to the area where the teeth should be replaced and is also referring to the budget of the patient. The most important thing is that the dentist and the technician work as a team and also listen to the demands of the patient. A human is also not like a car. You don't produce the same model multiple times. Each treatment is completely different to the other one. Patients will have different demands, different diseases and a different diagnosis. The anatomical landmarks will also differ in size and measurement and the patients will also have different personalities. This is very important. They have different types of fears. They have different types of wishes when it's about the aesthetics or the outcome of the treatment. And they will also have a different economical background when it's about what a patient can afford. There's really so much you have to consider. And that is what I like about dentistry. You produce something unique in cooperation with the technician, which is then inserted into a human being, which is also unique. Or let me know if you ever saw a second-hand denture being sold on eBay. And that's where medicine meets a craftsmanship, like I always love to say. We learn about the human anatomy in med school, we learn about the main diseases, and we learn about the physiology of the human body. But we also learn so much about the technical part, like the properties of metals, the reactions of dental material, and we learn in the end how to transfer a workpiece into the oral cavity. This was actually my main point when it's about dentistry, but there are also some other points that I want to mention. If a patient comes into a dental office, we first observe if there is any possible problem and then we try to figure out if treatment is needed or not. If so, we set up a treatment plan. So we note down the current status and talk with the patient about a possible treatment. So in the following weeks, the patient will visit us multiple times, which is also another fact that I like. So you start building up a relationship over time. It's not just some strangers coming into your dental office. And even after some years, if new problems occur, the patient will hopefully come back and you will start a new treatment plan. And that's also a slight reason why I didn't want to do medicine, because in most uh, of the fields of medicine, you don't build up a strong relationship with your patient. And this is actually what I'm enjoying working in a dental office. You know your patients by their name, you know about their background, you know about their families. It's quite a personal relationship that builds up between a dentist and his patient. And let's also talk the truth, we are creatures of habits. So that gives us a bit of a comfortable feeling to be around people we already know, we have seen before. Yeah, that's definitely something I like. As a dentist, you will also, depending on your specialty, work in a small facility. Like the name dental office, for example, already says. It's only you, the colleagues you are working with, maybe some employed technicians and the assistants. This ensures a good working environment. You will also work like kind of a team that you build around yourself over time. So everyone will know about each other's weakness and strength. And in total, I think it's just very comfortable for working. I mean, yes, those facts right now are a bit general and we can see them in loads of other professions, but the combination of all of them is what makes dentistry for me so special. Another thing I want to talk about are the working hours. As a dentist, you have kind of very good working hours because there are no night shifts. Of course, right now I'm talking more about the yeah, general dentist and uh, about most of the specialties. I know that there are some areas where you have to do night shifts, especially in big clinics. But as a normal dentist, you really can decide when you want to work, what times you want to have your dental office opened, and you can also decide when you want to have vacation. So if some patients have pain, they can always go to a neighboring dentist for that and after that come back to you. Another thing is the salary. As a lot of people know, yes, the salary is good, especially coming from university. Dental medicine is one of the jobs where you directly start working with a good payment. 
but I mean before that you are studying for six full years and may also spend some time finding a place to study before that. And if you want to start studying dentistry or medicine without losing any time, just look in the description down below. There's a link to our website where you can fill out a form and we will help you get your place to study right away. A dental technician once told me that in Italy, their job is basically seen like an art. And yes, I can somehow agree on that. It's such a delicate and also relaxing work while doing it. That is something that fascinated me right from the beginning and it's also something that I love doing. Working on a small workpiece and trying to make it the best one that you ever made. And trust me, I saw how happy a patient is after years being able or just feeling comfortable smiling again. It's so satisfying if bringing back smiles on people's face is what you do for a living. Another thing we should also keep an eye on when we choose our profession is the future security. Maybe the job you are learning right now will not be needed in some years. Like, let's give an example, travel agents. I think they do great work. I think it's very comfortable if you have someone who's planning out your vacation. But nowadays it's such easy to book your flights and hotels yourself that unfortunately those people are not needed as they had been. And as a dentist, you don't have to worry about something like that at all. Yes, yeah, some of you will now talk about the digitalization and automatization of loads of processes out there. I had some discussions about that already, but experts already reassured me, it doesn't matter how much the tech world will improve, there's always the need for a doctor to give the final diagnosis. Because like I said before, we as humans, we are not machines, we are no cars where loads of the same model had been built or all of us are the same type. Each one is different, each one has different pathologies and has to be seen from a different perspective in the end. The automatization will make our work easier, but never replace us. The last point I want to talk about is working with people. And this is very important to me myself. You can also see that the professions that make us in total the happiest are the ones that work with patients. Humans are by nature social. I've always been someone who thrives in social settings. So it's a no brainer for me to choose a profession where I'm interacting with other people. Yeah, I know I now talked a lot about dentistry and how good it is and the best profession in the world, yeah, but for me, it's like that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have chosen it if um, it wouldn't be like that. So I think it's also very important to talk about our profession, if we love it, share some fascination for it, that other people who are right now not knowing what they should do may get an impression of it and also, who knows, start considering doing the same. So hit the like button if you enjoyed the content and also consider subscribing as we are right now on our way to the first thousand subscribers. We are uploading every Wednesday. See you guys next week. La revedere and ciao.